at least 80,000 visitors flocking the gallery over the past one month, National Art Gallery or NAG said they will bring in more international arts for Malaysians following the success of the Leonardo Opera Omnia exhibition. Held for the first time in Malaysia, the exhibition saw 17 digital reproductions of Leonardo da Vinci's iconic work. Original paintings are found in so many places around the world. There are a number of them in Italy, there are six in France, and others are scattered around the world. So the idea is to group them all together. Uh, they have taken very high definition uh, uh, images of the original paintings and uh, produced uh, using a very um, modern technology. And they've recreated them on one to one size. Basically, all the paintings are exactly two sized. The exhibition also includes Leonardo's Codex on the flight of birds, where he outlined his observations of bird flight and pondered on the possibility of human mechanical flight. I think when you look at Leonardo's work, you can only feel awe, oh, really, at this, uh, at this genius who 500 years ago was able to produce such beautiful works of art. But at the same time, the really the approach that he had on life, I think it's uh, it's in a way even more important because he was he had really this endless um, thirst for knowledge. He wasn't satisfied as you know until he really learned and knew as much as possible. He was really incredible in this, and uh, I think that's. Uh, we, we can learn from that, you know, not to take things uh, from granted. NAG together with the Italian Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Italian public television subsidiary, RAI, aim to expose Malaysians to the culture of the European Renaissance era through Leonardo's art. Even though it was the second last day of the exhibition, the gallery continues to have visitors appreciating the master's work. I have an engineering background, but I work with uh, buildings and architecture, so there's an appreciation for him from both an engineering and an art perspective. It's great to see that there's an opportunity for people here in Malaysia to see it and to get to see all these um, incredible paintings so close up in such detail. Uh, a few of us are friends together with our kids, so we thought um, what best to come during the school holidays uh, to appreciate someone who spent his life in his artwork and in his inventions um, to see and experience for ourselves uh, 500 years of history. So we make time today to come with all our kids. I also like his, his making arts because, because the arts look neat and tidy. Leonardo da Vinci is the best artist in the history of the world. Do you want to grow up and be like him one day, maybe? Well, yeah, of course. <laughs> they brought in Leonardo da Vinci is like one in a million time in Balai right? You won't see like this kind of big arts here. Normally it's like the local artists. But now because of this, so a lot of people come, especially youngsters are coming. So okay, la. hopefully they bring in Vincent Van Gogh. I'm more offended that of Vincent Van Gogh than this one. And AG Director of Media and Art Development, Zanita Anwar said, the one-month programme was well-received and brought Malaysians together in appreciating art. We did not expect this at all because we have been very quiet, the National Art Gallery, because our oh, exhibitions yeah. would actually encourage uh, people uh, from special fields. Certain, certain talents would attract certain audiences. And the idea of something too classical may not be so popular. But we were wrong. We realised that Mona Lisa is an evergreen. This bringing together people from different religions, different groups, ethnicity, this is very Malaysia. 
Zanita said it is a win-win situation for NAG to being able to attract a lot of visitors as well as helping Malaysians, especially artists, to appreciate foreign arts and develop their perspective. It is very exciting for me to share with you how even when one artist is said, what do you think of Mona Lisa? And this is what he comes up with. He actually embeds Mona Lisa as the woman in everyone. So he created the Chinese woman, the Indian woman, the Malay woman in the Malaysian scene of Mona Lisa. So it is nice when we are able to embrace something that is thought to be foreign, to localize it. She said NAG will in the future continue to work with embassies of other countries to bring in more great artworks such as from Dutch painter Vincent van Gogh.